Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to use the color director only to sell your footage. The best known site on which we can sell photos, videos, audio tracks is Shutterstock. The Shutterstock is available to PowerDirector 365 users and can be used to download and use media files for free. But not everything can be downloaded. Only media files that have been agreed between Shutterstock and Cyberlink can be downloaded, of course. Since we are going to make a video footage, I choose to search among the videos only. I'm looking for a couple of videos made with a green screen background. I randomly open a video and see how much it sells. 50 bucks for the SD version, not bad. In this video we will make a footage with a green background. Without a physical green background we will use the color director only. I will use this underwater scene where this small fish swims happily. We will change the background to green. What you see now is the color director user interface. I already imported the video clip. You can see it up here in the library view. If you want to work with this video, you need to move it to the storyboard. Let's do it. Use this slider to view the content of the video. Since the video is a bit long, let's cut out the related part. Now open the adjustment tab, select the brush mask tool from the regional adjustment section. Using the brush select the subject, in our case the fish. Below is a button here, Start Motion Tracking. This will start a video and let you see if the selected part is properly selected on each frame. We can pause the playback when we detect an issue in selection, correct it and let's move on. Again the same issue. By the end of the video, the color director indicates that he couldn't follow the fish perfectly. Let's see what the problem is. Often the mode of the fish is not selected. No problem. Next to the motion tracking button is another function, the so-called track one frame only. This allows us to see what the problem is by stepping frame by frame. And we can fix the selection issue on each frame. It's a bit more work with the video clip because it's not just a picture. It is about a series of pictures. I will now speed up the video while correcting the selection errors. It's look pretty good now. When the motion tracking selection is complete, invert the selection mask. We can do this using this icon here or open the green blue screen maker section and hit the invert mask icon. Now the environment is selected, click on green square to change the background to green or on blue square to blue. There is a third option which allows us to set any color as a background. The reason for choosing the color is when we are working with a green subject, such as plants, people in green clothes, etc. We need to set a different color than green in these cases, otherwise the subject will also become transparent on our videos. So we Always choose a background color that doesn't exist or occurs only very rarely in our subject. But now I leave the green background for the fish. By clicking on these two dot icons we can play the finished and the original video side by side. Now we are going to export our modified clip to the video format, click the production tab, set the output folder here, the output format, 
the video quality. I'm setting it to full HD now. You can enable video hardware encoding. It is also turn on the video pre preview during production option. After all, this is a very short clip. And uh, let's start exporting. It's done. The exported video can now be uploaded, for example, to Shutterstock and make some money by selling our footage. Finally, we're going to use our finished clip in our video. Now you see the PowerDirector user interface. I've already imported the video. Let's find a suitable background on the Shutterstock for our fish. Click the Shutterstock icon to open the Shutterstock dialog window. Since I'm looking for an image, I select the photo tab and let's say we look for the glass. Here are the results listed. Let's see what we can find here. This glass of beer will be funny. Select it and click on download button to download it. The downloaded video will be found in the downloaded section. Drag it onto the timeline. Drag also our clip about the swing fish from the media content section. Place the fish as if it were in the glass. Then open the clip property dialog about the fish. In the chroma key section, set the color to green. This eliminates the space behind the fish and it becomes part of the picture. Close the dialog and play the video. Not bad. Open the crop tool and crop the picture a little smaller. Okay, let's play it again, correct the fish position. Now the fish looks like they are swimming in front of the glass. Its color is too different from the beer color. We need to mix the color of the fish with the color of the background. Select the clip and open the blending mode dialog box from the tools list box. Change the blending mode to try out how the resultant colors looks like. And the end, I will choose the most suitable. The dark and blend works best for me right now. Apply and look at the result. Thanks for watching, if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next time. Bye!